In this demonstration, I'll show you how to create a price index to calculate inflation for a random basket of goods. Price indices help citizens, businesses, and industries follow and predict trends in prices. A price index describes the price of an item compared to a base value measured at a particular time or in a particular place. The government tracks price changes using several different indices. The most important is the Consumer Price Index. To determine the CPI, data collection agencies collect thousands of prices quotations from across the country for a basket of up to 600 popular consumer goods and services. These items range from French fries and bus fares to tuition and internet service. Let's construct a personal price index. This depends on the things you buy. Everything you buy regularly goes in this imaginary basket. So what I have for you in this tutorial are three common items that you might buy in the month of July. Let's say that in the month of July of 2015, you bought 45 liters of gasoline at a price of $1.10 per liter. And you bought five burgers at a price of $2. And you bought two movie tickets at the price of $10. The next year, July 2016, you bought 45 liters of gasoline at a buck 30, five burgers at a rate of $2.50, and two movie tickets at a rate of $11. And finally, in July 2017, you spent $1.20 on gasoline, $2.50 per every burger, and $15 for the two movie tickets. What we're going to do next is create a fourth column, and we're going to call that fourth column the cost of living. Cost of living. And the cost of living adds up the prices for that month. Let me demonstrate. We spent a dollar and ten cents for the 45 liters. That adds up to 49 and a half plus two times the five burgers that you purchased, which adds up now to $59.50, and two times the $10 you spent on movie tickets, which adds up to $79.50. And we're going to do the same thing for the other two rows. And lastly, $15 per every ticket that you purchased. And the cost of living for 2017 in July was 96.5. So, now that you've constructed this table, what we will do is rewrite what we found. So, July of 15, July of 16, and July of 17, we end up with the following table summarized. And that's the date. Ninety-three, ninety-six point five. And what you'll do to come up with this index is you'll set this the initial date to one hundred. This will be your base value. And what you're going to do is find out the relative number to 100 using these values. Here's what I mean. So in, in July 2015, the base value was 100. And in the next year, the base value will be the following. In 2015, 
to 100 is the same thing as saying in 2016, 93. So we'll solve for x in this situation. It's a simple algebraic problem from here. 79.5, and I'm cross multiplying here, times x is equal to 79.5x, and 100 times 93 is equal to 9,300. And we're going to divide that by 79.5 to find out what our x value is relative to our base. And we end up with 116. 116.98. So that's our x value. And now we're going to find out our next value by using the same comparison. This time we have 96.5 and we're going to find out what our y is. We're going to cross multiply to do this. 100 times 96.5 divided by 79.50. And that is equal to 121.3. Gathering this data together, we can finally construct our price index. So our price index is for July of 15, 100. For July of 16, 16.98. And for July of year 17, 121.3. And using these values, we can now go on to calculate the inflation. And the inflation formula looks like this. Inflation is equal to year end minus year start divided by the year start. And what we're going to do is compare 2015 to 2016, 2015 to 2017, and 2016 to 2017. Let's start by comparing 15 versus 16. The year end would be 116.98 minus the start, which is 100 divided by the start, which is 100, and this will denote our inflation. 116.98 minus 100 divided by 100 times 100% is equal to 16.98% increase. So there's a cost of living increase of nearly 17% from 2015 versus 2016 for the month of July. Let's do the years 15 versus 17. The price index for 2017 was 1 121.3 minus 100 over 100. And we end up with 1 to 1.3 minus 100 over 100 is equal to a jump of 21.3% in living costs. And we will compare 2016 to the year 2017 of July. And we have here... The year end is 1 to 1.3 minus 116.98, that represents July of 2016, over 116.98 is equal to, I'm going to increase the space here, 1 to 1.3 minus 116.98 divided by 116.98 and the inflation for this was only an increase of 
0.9%. So there you have it. That is how to construct a price index using a basket of goods and then subsequently using that information to come up with the inflation for every year. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.